Come on, let's take so a look. So the first character I'll be showcasing is Amber. The stats that I have for her is 1700 attack and a little bit of elemental mastery because we'll be using the melt elemental reaction and a 34% crit rate and a 230% crit damage and a 46% pyro damage bonus. For her bow, I use the Sharpshooter's Oath when fighting against an enemy that has a weak spot. But if the enemy doesn't have a weak spot, I usually use the Slingshot as a bow, also a 3-star bow. So you can get both of these fairly easy if you do gacha. For the artifacts, I recommend using the 4-set Wanderer's Trope to get a little bit of elemental mastery and the 35% increase for your charge attack damage. For the substats, you want to prioritize getting crit damage. Getting crit rate is optional. The other priorities would be elemental mastery and attack percent or attack flat. And the primary stats that I recommend is going for crit damage, pyro damage bonus, and attack percent. For her constellation, I got her at C1. And... For her talent, you want to prioritize your normal attack talent. But if you somehow have Amber at Constellation 2 or maybe Constellation 4, then you should probably level up your elemental skill instead of the normal attack. <laughs> For the team composition, I recommend using Amber together with Sucrose, Bennett, and most importantly, Deona. The reason why you don't want Kaya in this team comp is because Kaya needs to get close to the enemy in order to apply Cryo. And the problem with it is that Bennett's elemental burst actually triggers Pyro sometimes. So what would happen is the Cryo applied by Kaya would disappear because of Bennett. And when I attack with Amber, it won't trigger the Melt Elemental Reaction. So if you somehow make it very consistent together with Kaya, Bennett, and Amber, please let me know in the comments how to do it because I have no idea. It, it's so inconsistent. You just definitely need to use Deona in order to apply Cryo away from the enemy. For Sucrose, you want to get as much elemental mastery as possible because sucrose actually increases your team's elemental mastery depending on how much elemental mastery that she has so i recommend using a catalyst that has a elemental mastery as a stat and for the artifacts you should use the four set effect of the very decent venerer to reduce the elemental resistance of the enemy by 40 percent for Bennett, you want to use a sword that has a high base attack because his elemental skill actually scales from his base attack. So a 5 star weapon would be ideal but you can also use the event weapon, Festering Desire. It still has a 510 base attack and a 45% energy recharge which helps him fill up his elemental burst. For his artifacts, I recommend getting the 4 set effect of Noblesse Oblige oblige to get the 20% attack increase and for his constellation i recommend getting at least constellation 1 to get an additional 20% boost on his elemental burst and obviously for his talents you just need to prioritize his elemental burst to get a higher attack bonus ratio on his buff and like i said the most important member of this team would be Deona, but you can also use Kai, I guess. And it doesn't really matter how you build them. The only purpose of the Cryo character is to apply Cryo and for Amber to trigger Melt. Thank you. 
Let's light it up! Teamwork is true! Cool it! This moment will be frozen in time. The second character that I will showcase is Lisa. The stats that I have for her are 1.6k attack and a little bit of elemental mastery from her ascension and a 59% crit rate and a 201% crit damage paired with a 61% electro damage bonus. The weapon that I use is the Wizith, a 4 star catalyst from the Gacha only at refine one for the artifacts i use the two set thundering fury but ideally you want to use a four set thundering fury or maybe a two set thundering fury plus a two set gladiator and a four set thunder suitor is also a viable option but i don't have the resin to farm this domain again so i'll be sticking with this for the substats, you want to prioritize crit damage and crit rate, just the usual DPS stats, attack percent and flat attack. For the primary stats, attack percent and electro damage bonus because all her attacks are electro. And for the last piece, maybe crit rate or crit damage depending on what you are lacking. If your weapon has a crit rate or maybe you have enough crit rate from the substats, then you should probably go for crit damage. For her constellations, I don't have any constellations on her, but C6 Lisa is actually very good in my opinion because it applies 3 stacks of violet arcs conductive status. And if you actually check the elemental skill of Lisa, you will see that she has 877 multiplier when the enemy has a 3 stacks of conductive. I'm not sure how much the multiplier is if she has constellations, but. You can just imagine how much damage she can do with this elemental skill that has only a 16 second cooldown. So whenever you switch with Lisa, you can just hold your elemental skill and boom, you have a massive AoE damage. For party recommendation, I recommend using Lisa together with Sucrose, Shangling, and Bennett. The use of Sucrose and Bennett is basically the same as Amber's setup and Shangling is here to use her pyronado and together with lisa's ultimate they would trigger overloaded again and again and if you actually have shangling at constellation one guoba would reduce the pyro resistance of the enemy by 15 percent and if you didn't know that overloaded elemental reaction actually always deals pyro damage so that also helps with that and on Shangling's talents, when Goba's attack ends, it will drop a chili pepper that you can pick up with Lisa and it would boost Lisa's attack by 10%. Now for my most favorite character in the game, which is Kaya. I actually built Kaya for physical damage DPS because I've been using Kaya since way back in November 2020 and the cryo set didn't exist back then and I also don't have Chongyun to try out the perma freeze team with Kaya, Chongyun, Barbara or Xingqiu. So yeah, that's basically why I built Kaya for physical damage. And the stats of my Kaya are 2000 attack, but my actual attack is only 1800 if I don't have the pyro resonance. And the crit rate is 
but it's actually 86% because I have Kaya on Constellation 1, which increases my crit rate by 15% if the enemy is affected by Cryo. And for his crit damage, I have 160%. And the physical damage bonus which is at 83%. I now use the Black Sword for Kaya because it has the very good sustain and also increases your normal and charge attack by 20%. But theoretically, if you have the same stats that I showed with the prototype ranker, it all it actually has way higher damage output, but you won't have the sustain from the Black Sword. And for the artifacts, I use the two set Bloodstained Chivalry together with the two set Gladiator's Finale. And for the substats, just prioritize getting crit damage, crit rate, and attack. And for the primary stats, the usual attack percent, physical damage bonus, and crit rate or crit damage depending on what you are lacking. If you have enough crit rate from the substats or your weapon is the black sword or any any sword that has a crit rate then you should go with a crit damage primary stat but if you're lacking in crit rate and, or maybe using the prototype sword then i recommend going for a crit rate primary stat that has a crit damage substat and like i said i have a constellation one on kaya for his talents, I only prioritize the normal attack talent on Kaya. For the team that I use on Kaya, I usually pair Kaya together with a Electro character like Fischl or Lisa. Beidou is also a viable option with her elemental burst. But when I'm against an enemy that is very mobile, I use Fischl. And when the enemy that I'm fighting doesn't really move like the Valen and the Flowers, I use Lisa and put a Trilling Tales of the Dragon Slayers with Lisa to boost Kaya's attack by 48%. And of course, Bennett as a support and a healer for the team. And Shangling is here just for the Pyro Resonance. And also, after Go Boss attack ends, you can pick up the Chili Pepper and boost your attack even further by 10%. This opportunity is quite hard to come by. Well then, amuse me. Surrender is a valid option. I promise I'll be gentle. Nice spice. Not bad. We've got a drink or two. What's the hurry? Dodge this! Odd oh, reveal by this moment will be frozen in time. And 
for the last character that I want to show you guys is the Animal Traveler. What I have for him right now is a 2.4k attack and a 119 elemental mastery with a 60% crit rate and a 112 crit damage and also a 61% animal damage bonus. The weapon I used for him is the Summit Shaper because it looks really cool on the Traveler and I just used the Festering Desire for Bennett. And for his artifacts, I used the 4 set Viridescent Venerer, but you can also use a mix of VV set and a Gladiator set. And for the substats, I just focus on crit damage, crit rate, elemental mastery, and also attack, but I'm not really very lucky with some of the artifacts. This thing has a lot of death, and this one also has death and HP. And this sucks too. And this one obviously has also death. And but for the primary stats, I'll go with attack percent. You can also go for elemental mastery if you want to build him for just swirl. And for the goblet, I use the animal damage bonus. And for the circlet, I use the crit rate because I don't have enough crit rate to make my crits consistent. And for his consolation, the C6 is actually very interesting because it reduces the animal risk of the enemy by 20%. So which means you should use your elemental burst first before using your elemental skill. So I think the elemental skill is actually your main source of damage instead of the elemental burst. Your elemental burst is just like a very low budget venti. For the team composition, I personally like using the Animal Traveler together with Barbara, Shangling, and Bennett. But you can actually use him together with almost any other character because he's an animal character after all. So he's going to have an elemental reaction with almost any other element except for Geo. The Animal Traveler can also be a very great support because of the 4 set effect of the VV set. And together with the 6th constellation, that further decreases the element resistance by 20%. Everybody stand back! Picked. <laughs> 